Camera space. Hodge twins joke. Hey, we're rolling, bro. Oh, we're rolling. <laughs> I didn't know that. Look, it's rolling. Oh man. All right, so here's the Sach Hawaii shot. Um, Shaytober. Ron and I. Let's just be honest with them. Should we be honest? Well, let's, let's not lie. Let's, let's have lie. an honesty moment. I think it's important. Tell them how we feel today, Ron. Today we feel tired, lackluster, burnt out, exhausted. No fire. <laughs> Standing outside the fire. Name that artist, and I'll give you a hundred bucks. That would be um, Dave Days. Garth Brooks. <laughs> You're way off. Dave Days. I love Dave Days. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so uh, here's the deal. It's Friday. We are week three of Shaytober. The goal was uh, we had a an appointment at the Red Bull facility in Santa Monica today to go work out with Sergio again. You remember the workout we did? Uh, was that week one? That was week one, yeah. And like, I went to bed last night. I got to bed early because I thought, man, tomorrow's Friday. We're going to the Red Bull facility to work out with Sergio. We are going to work our freaking butts off. So I got in bed early, drank a lot of water, and I was like ready to wake up and just go crazy. Uh, I woke up at like 7.30 to get ready. I looked at my phone. Ron had sent me a text saying, Sergio broke his ankle last night. No Red Bull today. And my first reaction was, yes. <laughs> my second reaction was like, oh, poor Sergio. He broke his ankle. <laughs> so I felt kind of guilty that I was kind of like a little bit like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I like, turned the alarm clock off, go back to sleep. And so it was like, oh, so what are we going to do for a workout today? Um, so then I went to a doctor's appointment with Colette. Uh, we're going to have the baby next Friday, by the way. That's a Shay Tarts moment. And so then I was like, well, what are we going to do for a workout today? And Ron's like, what should we do for a video today? Because the goal was to go shoot that Red Bull workout and then edit that and upload that as today's workout. But sometimes your workout plans get thrown off. Have you had that? Have you had that where it's like you had a plan to go work out with a workout buddy and they called and they couldn't go last second and you're like, well, what am I going to do now? Or like I remember when I was going to go for a bike ride once and my bike tire was flat and I'm like, now what am I going to do? So what do you do in those situations, Ron? Well... You come up with a different plan. You have to be like MacGyver. A lot of you guys don't know about this MacGyver show, but it was a show <laughs> in the 80s. That's but, MacGyver. <laughs> MacGyver. Yeah, MacGyver uh, always found a way out. And that's the thing. When you're looking for the easiest excuse, it's so easy to find, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like excuses are the easiest thing to find if you're looking for them. It's not like an Easter egg hunt. It's yeah. like uh, it's it's really really easy and. Us, we're feeling just sort of not motivated. It would have been so, so simple for us to just be like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah I, I've got stuff to do. i got to, you know, i got to plan this shoot for next week. And, oh, shit, I have a doctor's appointment to go and do my own life. Anyway, so here's what we did. We went to the gym. I said, let's just go to the gym and, uh, like, just try to do something. So we did those things. We did these. You know that machine? Like, it's not a machine, really. It's like an apparatus where you put, like, your legs in it, and then you, like, go up. We did a bunch of those. My back is sore, and we did some like pull down things. We did a few pull ups, and we only worked out for 30 minutes. But we got sweating, and our backs are sore. But at least we did something. You know, we still got a workout. It wasn't maybe like the most intense workout, but we did get our sweat on, and that's better than nothing. And that's what you were saying an important thing um, before we sat down to film this. You said in order to make this a habit you know, like this healthy lifestyle, you have to work out in those moments when you don't feel like it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you were, when you were losing the 100 pounds, even now, it's, that's the thing. Uh, it's so easy. I know myself, it's so easy to think or see people working out on these videos and just think like, oh, they must just be there in the gym all the time, yeah. like always motivated, always feeling energized and happy, but it's just not realistic. We're human. Yep. Everybody <laughs> feels it. Like me and Ron are, we're always trying to be motivated and encouraging you guys. But it's funny, I was thinking about this too. Like I'll go through those moments where I'm like, I don't freaking feel like it. And then in my mind, I'll have that little voice being like, come on, Shay, you really change your life. And then the other side of my mind is like, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, motivating Shay. Just <laughs> shut your stupid mouth. And the boy's like, are you going to be that kind of person? Are you going to be the kind of person that gives up? And I'm like, shut up. And I'm just like <laughs> fighting back and forth in my mind. And it's like, I don't want to hear it. But the point is, the goal is to fight through that and just do something. 
just get on that bike and even just tell yourself, say, you know what, and, and make yourself that promise. I'm only going to get on the treadmill for 20 minutes and then I'm done. And then you'll get on it and you never know. Like I've been in that situation many times where I'm like, I'm just going to do 100 push-ups. Like I'll do three sets of 33 push-ups and that's it. Just so I can say that I did something. And then I'll do that and I'll be like, I'm actually feeling okay now. And then I'll keep going. And then sometimes you don't. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I definitely not feeling it today, but at least I did something and I'm done and I'm going to go just drink a bunch of water and relax. You know, but you've got to do something. In those moments where you don't feel like it, it's Friday, you feel like it's a day to like just relax, do something, anything. Exactly. And as you were saying, I think it's really important not to keep yourself in that place where you're fighting yourself. Like you can just sit in that, oh, I should, I should, I should, mm -hmm. I woulda, coulda, shoulda. You're like, you can just sit in that battle place for so, so long. And you know what? There's no point. There's no point in it. You uh, are wrong. Yeah. Make a choice, you know, make, make the choice. And the thing is, is that you already know uh, what's going to make you feel better. You already know what it is. You do. Point. So yeah. even after like we weren't feeling it and we went to the gym, at least I feel like I definitely feel like we got a good lower back workout doing those those thingies, you know. So yeah, I I feel a hundred percent better. And you know, yeah, that's the point, right, Shay? Like that it's not it's not uh, where you have to just. <laughs> what am I, saying? I don't know. I'm waiting to hear it. I hope it's good. What are you gonna say, bro? I was like waiting for something dramatic to drop. I was like, whoa, you guys, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be good. And nothing, nothing. Must be Friday. <laughs> okay, so keep this in mind. Weigh-ins on Monday. Monday will be day one of the last week of Shaytober. I mean, think about that. We have gone through three weeks, almost three full weeks of this. On Monday, we'll be away in day one of week four, and we'll have one more week, and Shaytober will be over. So this, like, remember, I remember saying on Monday, like, this is week three. This is when it gets hard. Right now, like, towards the end of week three, it's like, you're getting burned out. Don't quit. Do something, anything, and let's push through, and that last week will be strong. Yeah, because, you know, probably tomorrow we're going to feel like, so, oh, let's go yeah. get into it. Ah! Yeah, and, you know, even if you're, I mean, your body needs a day off, like, your mind sometimes needs a day off. Your mind, like, go to the movies, you know, like, just, you know, you can have a cheat day, but at least get a workout in. Yeah, and you, you don't want to be thinking about yeah. working out all day. Yeah. Just, come on, come on, come on, you want to get it? Yeah, I do. Oh, 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 sorry, oh, 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 sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, love you guys. Uh, Friday, happy Friday to you. Have a great weekend. Go for a run tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go for a beach run tomorrow. Me too, actually. I wanna go. Yeah. I'm going. I wanna try and go for nine. Miles. Are you gonna? Ron went on an eight mile run the other night. Yeah. Show him your, show him your inner thigh. Oh gosh, this is why you need to get some good shorts. Oh, uh, it's healing a little bit, but <laughs> look at that. That's commitment. That's some runner rash <laughs> That's right there. <laughs> Ouch! Aren't you, aren't you glad walking, you saw that? <laughs> I've been walking around like I pooed my pants. Yeah, time. yesterday he showed up. He's like. Are you okay, bro? You okay? <laughs> bro, you need to lift. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't give up. Everybody feels that discouraged feeling. If you feel it, don't worry. It's normal, but don't succumb to it. That's the key. You will feel discouraged. You will feel burned out. You will feel tired. That's inevitable. The point is, don't succumb to it. Do something, anything, whether it's a swim, a little jog, even this, even if you're just like not feeling it at all, just say, I'm going to put my headphones in and I'm just going to walk down the street and back. Even if it's just that, like literally you walk a quarter mile, you put your headphones in, you put your workout clothes on and say, I'm just going to walk down to the stop sign and back. The easiest exercise at, you know, there is. It just so you can get some air in your lungs, like just anything, something. You'll be amazed. Yeah, truly. It works. Okay. <laughs> Any last profound words, Road Rash? <laughs> Get some good shorts. Yeah, <laughs> good equipment is key. No, and everybody, thanks for thanks for encouraging us. I mean, you motivate us just as much as I don't know if we motivate you. But and here's the other thing: um, we've been asking you guys to submit videos. We are going to start uploading some of those user submitted videos because if Colette doesn't have the baby naturally in the next week, we are scheduled to go have the baby next Friday, the 25th. You guys are hearing about that before anybody. So if we don't have the baby naturally. Uh, we will have it next Friday, so we're going to have to uh, be relying on some of your guys' videos because I'll be kind of like uh, with my, my wife. 
And my new baby. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. beautiful. Okay, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Go check out yesterday's video. We went to the grocery store and got a healthy meal for ten dollars. And we're gonna do that some more. We're gonna do some more of those, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>